welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Laura. I cover anti-MLM content that is anti-multi-level marketing. And it's basically the structure. I don't like anything scammy or unethical business practices. So I tend to cover that kind of stuff to try to help prevent people from going down the wrong path and help people get out. So today is gonna be another <laughs> reaction video to reddit this time and so we're gonna go into the reddit anti mlm and there's lots of great content in there let's get started let's go okay this first one is how to get a hun to permanently leave you alone and if you don't know hun is what we call distributors because they usually say hey hun or hey girl in their cold calling messages to friends family acquaintances whoever they come in contact with hey can i ask you a favor don't worry i am not trying to get you to buy anything lol <laughs> i'm not sure depends on what it is Yay! Okay, so I'm working towards a huge bonus this month. Believe it or not, you could help me just by posting on your page and tagging me. I'd enter you into my cash giveaway, too. Would you be open to me sending you a post? Absolutely! My marketing rates are pretty affordable. Text-only post, $25. Text with photo, $50. <laughs> text photo and recommendation to a link to your website $100 I can make sure the post is up within the next 24 to 48 hours but I do require payment up front which marketing package do you want I have cash app and Venmo and just so you know I'm running a special right now I can make a post including text photo and your link once a week for four weeks for only $300 over $100 discount just let me know, girl. <laughs> oh, no thank you. I didn't know you charged. It's not something that I absolutely have to have. Just to be nice and help. Thank you, though. Anytime. If you change your mind, I'm running the special through Memorial Day. <laughs> okay, I have to laugh at this. It's like some rep reached out to some random person and they uh, responded back with this. And it's almost like... A reverse cold call. <laughs> it's like, you want me to market your MLM, so yeah, sure, let's do it, but I'm gonna get reimbursed for it. <laughs> so that is like a, a really interesting comeback because, you know, it it's hard. It's hard to answer the questions because sometimes you'd like, if it's a friend, you don't want to be rude in your response, so sometimes you leave it blank or you'll say, oh, I just don't have the time right now. Oh, I just can't afford it. But then they come back with the, well, oh, you, you can't afford that. And then there's still more conversation. But this is just kind of like, nope, nope, done. <laughs> so this is a meme and I just thought it was kind of funny. It's uh, these two birds and one says me and then the other is an old friend uh, reaching out with an MLM and the bird's like, ah. So this kind of reminds me of those cold calls that you get or like the texts you get from a random person that you went to like high school with and you haven't seen in like 10 years. Uh, we haven't spoken in a long time. Are you sure you want to reach out to me? And it's for the business because they see you as dollar signs. So this is from a hun. So it says, Some of you women in this group are a disgrace. What happened to uplifting women and being supportive? If someone is doing an MLM and you're not for those businesses, guess what? You're allowed to move along without being so damn rude. Some people like myself love the side hustle money. Get over yourself and start lift, uplifting women instead of bashing them and their companies because you're living in the olden days thinking it's a pyramid scheme or a scam. Newsflash, it's okay to have a different opinion than someone else. To all my MLM sisters out there, you do you boo and keep hustling. Okay, a couple things with this. Um, first, it seems like a lot of times Huns get very defensive about the MLM. So anytime someone disagrees with them, they start getting taking things way too personally. And that, to me, in my opinion, is cult-like behavior because you're manipulated into believing that your MLM is 
everything. They go into a lot with toxic positivity and how you have to be uplifting all the time, do personal growth, personal development, and just like really hustle for that money, really work hard and, and go dive into personal development. And you have to be showing happiness all the time and stuff. Now, there's nothing wrong with being happy, but in my opinion, it is good to cry and let it out. It is good to feel the emotions you need to feel. It's being real. It is it is a release valve for dealing with the problems because you have to go through it. You can't just you can't just sugarcoat everything. And the way toxic positivity works is that if anyone is negative, then they just like get all negative on you for being negative and it seems contradictory. It seems like they're constantly contradicting themselves in their approach because you're living in the olden days thinking it's a pyramid scheme or a scam. Let's just take a look real quick. So this is from the Federal Trade Commission, consumer information about multi-level marketing businesses and pyramid schemes. And I refer to this page often. It's usually, it's like always down in my description as a resource, but there is a very close connection between MLMs and pyramid schemes. They often think that they're not a pyramid scheme because pyramid schemes are illegal and they have products, but you can have a pyramid scheme and have a product if the focus is more on recruiting and if you can't make a livable income without recruiting. So this actually says, how do you spot a pyramid scheme? They are scams, it can cost you and your recruits, often your family and friends, substantial time and money. The promoters of a pyramid scheme may try to recruit you with pitches about what you'll earn. They may say you can change your life, quit your job, even get rich by selling the company's products, which means that you can have products. Um, that's a lie. Your income would be mostly based on how many people you recruit, not how much product you sell. Pyramid schemes are set up to encourage recruitment to keep a constant stream of new distributors and their money flowing into the business. And often the distributors are the customers. So it's constantly focused on opportunity. If you look at any team calls, any um, videos on that, I'll even link. I have a I covered a team call for an opportunity call for doTERRA. I'm planning on doing a couple more opportunity calls soon. So I'll link that. And any of those calls will focus a lot more on the opportunity than the product. <laughs> so it says, in what world does this look appetizing? And this is the Arbonne Greens. Pictured is my morning glow gut green shot with added mind health and full control. You could say taking this in the morning is one of my favorite things to do. Drop the word glow to add this to your morning regimen for a killer price with 20 to 50% off. Uh, I'm betting that the comment here is also a distributor in her upline or, or downline or something. I crave my glow shot such insane deals right now. It seems like a lot of times that is the case. Uh, I know that when I was in Arbonne, my upline would comment on my post to try to get engagement from people that aren't in the MLM. And okay, for another thing, that was that's a really bad picture to use because it's like all over the place and bubbly and gross. Now, I will say that like any... In my opinion, any of the greens is going to not taste that well. This just doesn't look appetizing at all. And it just, why would you put a picture like that up and try to entice people to, and say that you love it? So, okay, this is a story. Thanks to my husband and this subreddit, I am an anti-MLM person. Oh, yay. I've been reading this subreddit for years. I decided to talk about my story. It isn't super exciting. I mainly wanted to thank you guys for changing my mind. Growing up, I thought MLMs were harmless businesses that some women uh, get into. My mom and I would be invited to parties and usually would buy something. One of my friends got me into Jamberry. Jamberry was an MLM that sold nail stickers. It's technically still around as Ben a U, but it isn't nearly as possible 
popular anymore. Some, I haven't heard of that one, but some MLMs, they often will have to change their names, especially if it's getting heated around a lawsuit. And I was mentioning Pyramid Scheme breakdown earlier. One of the ways that they try to keep the legalities of it is by kind of rebranding themselves and changing the name every so often, or like they even have to like change their compliance rules and stuff and make sure people are abiding by the rules. But as a company, as a whole, they don't actually have a lot of control over what their distributors do. And if you read a lot of the fine print in any MLM, the terms and conditions when you sign up, it says that because you're an independent contractor with them, that you're the one that has the liability if you like so so the the company is protected it's a way to keep them safe the nail stickers were cute and I enjoyed it I decided to join the company obviously I didn't make any money and spent way too much money on this product thankfully I managed to sell off most of my stock during the Danbury hype after my disastrous attempt at selling Danbury I kept buying from a few MLMs they were Arbonne, LuLaRoe, Usborne, and Pampered Chef Oh, two of the ones I had been in. I was in Arbon and I was in Usborne Books. Uh, not that I'm proud of that. I just mentioned it because it's, you know, I don't hear people saying Usborne Books very often because I had never heard of it. That's one reason I fell for it because I didn't know it was an MLM. It looked like a harmless children book seller thing. I had friends that sold the products. Casually, one day, my husband mentions a subreddit that he enjoyed reading. It was anti-MLM. Unbeknownst to me, my husband was very skeptical about MLMs because his mom is still a serial MLM hun. He wanted me to find out the hard way how people can't make money from MLMs. I started reading anti-MLM and saw how terrible the business model is. Now, I don't spend money on MLM products. It has made my life better. Thanks for reading. Uh, first off, I am so glad that you were able to get out. I doubt you're following my channel, but I'm going to say it anyway. And your husband letting you learn the hard way. I think it's one of the hardest things to do to stand beside someone and know that they're, that they're going through something where you want to, you want to help them get out of it because you know that it's not good, but you're you're having trouble being able to do that because I remember when I was in an MLM, people could tell me that Arbonne was bad news. People could tell me that Usborne was bad news. I had full belief in my companies at the time and I thought I can't I can't betray my company and they like instilled that into your belief system so like and I would like I would go to my upline for everything they were like my best friends at the time because that's the way they start off love bombing you making you feel welcome make, making you feel at home and everyone else in the world doesn't exist and by the way, that's another red flag of a cult-like structure, a cult. No one can make you leave an MLM. At the end of the day, it's your decision, and a lot of times in an MLM, you've been manipulated to believing so strongly on your company that I encourage you to take a step back and do some research. If they say that you can't do research, that is actually another serious sign of a cult. Learning about this stuff is a great way to, like this person that was able to get out because she started, she started reading and learning about the anti-MLM. And believe me when I say we're not haters, the MLM community tends to think we're haters because we don't believe in the toxic positivity that they have. Anybody that's against the company and the policies. I have no problem with the individuals. I have a problem with the structure. I have a problem with how it is um, taking advantage of and screwing over a lot of people. And if you did find success in the business, congratulations. But uh, there's a lot of people that lose money a lot of people that have been taken advantage of. Next one is Herbalife. My sister's coworker is in the hospital. Might possibly be, oh, might possibly be due to Herbalife. 
She had routine blood work done and then come to find out her liver enzymes were sky high. She had a blockage in her liver slash pancreas and the doctors told her to stop going to the local MLM Herbalife Nutrition Smoothie Shop I had posted about previously. They think it's possible that it's from the loaded teas she was getting every day. I just wanted to share this as a warning. Oh my goodness, I am oh, I am so sorry that your sister's coworker is in the hospital. I am glad that her doctors are looking out for her. It sounds like they are concerned and that they're like going through the proper steps like okay, have you had any additional supplements or like have you had any of like these different things now I'm not a doctor but like the fact that they're knowing that like okay she's taken this stuff and this this stuff might actually be affecting you know these loaded teas might actually be affecting her health I would have to do more research on the actual Herbalife shakes or anything like that. If you if you have had some experience with Herbalife and their like products, I would love to hear from you. So you comment down below or you can shoot me an email. I have it linked in my description. Leave a comment what you think about that. This is a story, the reality of these schemes. My, oh no, this one's going to be a sad one. Warning. My 84-year-old mom died in January. Despite working until retirement, she left just a small amount of money, not enough to pay for her funeral, and had no assets. She received a small pension, which should have been spent on utility bills and food. Going through her affairs, however, I've learned that she was not paying for her gas, phone, water, and electricity. Oh no. Instead, she was buying expensive MLM beauty products and perfumes she did not use from so-called friends. My mom was vulnerable to a sob story. She had a very kind heart. She wanted to help her friends. It breaks my heart that they took advantage of that. Wow, I could have written that last sentence. It breaks my heart. And then to find out after all of that 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 she wasn't paying for her necessities, the gas, phone, water, electricity, but she was buying expensive MLM products and she was doing it just to help out some friends. If you need money to pay for gas and phone, water, electricity, like any, any necessities, food, like taking care of your family, there are a lot of things that that money could go towards it rather than this and if you feel like if you're out there and somebody approaches you and you feel like you would be a bad friend by not purchasing from them don't don't feel like that I know that it is really tempting to purchase from a friend because you want to support them and you know support their business endeavors but at the end of the day they're very likely to get screwed by the system anyway and the structure of it so don't feel bad and don't buy anything that you're not going to use because it is expensive. If you do buy something, you're going to be on their prospect list to continue. But I would say don't feel bad about not supporting someone because they're your friend. This one says they do not give up. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of what I just talked about. But uh, these are all messages from the Hun and it's Beachbody and it says... Hi, how are you? How are you? I wanted to ask if you were interested in joining my accountability group. You might think I'm crazy when I say this, but I have not seen results like I'm getting from these programs from anything else. We each do a workout plan that goes with our goals, and we help each other with nutrition, meal planning, recipes, motivation, and accountability and support. It's a lot of fun, and I think you would love it. Can I send you more details? Hey, I just wanted to let you know that I haven't forgotten about you. Sometimes messages get lost in the inbox. I just wanted to extend the offer against to join my wellness crew. I'd love to have you join us. Hey, girly, just checking in. I know my coach asked me several times to join her boot camp before I actually did, so just extending the invite to you again. Hi, wanted to follow up with you, girl. Not gonna, not giving up on you because I know you'll love it so much, and no, I know I'll love working with you. Kiss. Okay, so 
I had already mentioned that they never give up, but <laughs> we had prospect lists and we had the people that have purchased from us. We had the people that were preferred customers that we would continue to make sure that they got their orders in so they could get the free gifts and stuff like perks and stuff and make sure that they were like continuing to be a customer. Then we had the people that said no because we would follow up with them continuously if they like because no meant not yet. No does mean no. We had that list because we would go in and continue to check in with them just in case we could change their minds to be a yes. And then we also had the, the people that were just thinking about it so we could like sway them. And then we had the people that never answered and we would continue to check in with them because we like, because maybe like this person did where, oh, maybe, maybe it got lost in the inbox. I'm going to check in with you again. Hey, I'm going to check in with you again. Just see if you changed your mind or if you're going to answer, you know, and then so continuing to check up and like March 2nd and April 20th and like that's what happens is like you check like a, a lot of times you're taught to check within like the next day then the next week and then the next month and then like so on and so forth to keep, to keep you in mind for the MLM even in all of those categories it's pretty much any type of person that uh, no matter what your response is you're on a prospect list and you'll get less you'll get less notices if you don't respond but like you know she still got this person still got notices unless you completely shut uh someone down and like explain hey please don't message me again that kind of thing and even so they might still message you i can't predict what a distributor would, would do um it really depends on the distributor this is just an example of when somebody doesn't respond and they keep going so this is one it says why do people get so personally offended by mlms and this is a hun talking on a post ranting and angry why do people get so personally offended by mlms the topic of mlms has people fired up more than donald trump uh fun fact donald trump actually was part of endorsing an MLM called ACN, which is like a phone communications network. Your friends are all selling MLM products because we're all struggling financially and we need extra income. Plus, a lot of MLMs have actually got really great products. They have to be great because MLMs are scrutinized more than any other company I've seen. Why are y'all mad about your friends trying to do better for themselves and their families? All right, lots to say here as well. Your friends are all selling MLM products because we're all struggling financially and we need extra income. Exactly, I agree with that. You're struggling financially, you need extra income, and that makes you the perfect target for being recruited into this MLM. So I agree that a lot of people are struggling when they get into an MLM. The problem is that it is set up to fail you have to constantly recruit people in order to make money and that's what makes it a pyramid scheme. If it was just selling the products, like you can't rank up by just selling the products unless you sell a lot of products. And if you don't rank up, you're not gonna make much money at all. And in fact, you'll lose money because of the money you invest into the products yourself. The products usually are very overpriced in most MLMs. They think that their products are revolutionary and completely different from what's out on the market, but there are better or similar quality products. In fact, a lot of the products are better quality products. If we remember the Herbalife story, a lot of these products are like some of them are just downright not good at all for you. And then there are some good products in an MLM. I'll agree with that. There are some MLMs that have good products. However, supporting the business structure is going to hurt a lot of people in the long run. Why are y'all mad about your friends trying to do better for themselves and their families? We're not mad about... Uh, friends trying to do better for themselves and their families. We're not mad about you trying to start a business. What we're upset about is the fact that people are getting screwed over. Pe people are losing money 
people are losing friends, the friendships that you create in an MLM tend to often be very conditional. And once you get out of the MLM, you lose those friends. And you don't really speak to them much. You have nothing in common anymore because it's all about the MLM. It revolves around the MLM. And then the friends that you had outside of the MLM, you're told to distance yourself from because they don't support your business. They're not positive about the business. And it drives a wedge between your friends, your family. There are so many downsides to an MLM that we're not mad about somebody wanting to start a business. If you want to start a business, great. Do some crafts. Do what you're good at. Like, make some products. Start a business. Like, you know, go to business school. Like, do some things like content creation. There's a lot of things you can do online that aren't screwing people over. I think a lot of distributors don't want to hurt people, but don't realize that they are. And there's a lot of guilt in that when you get out and I felt it too like I felt like I screwed people over and I like felt horrible when I realized it because I didn't realize it. Yeah so you've got your friend Becky from high school who messages you out of the blue when you haven't spoken in 10 years. Do you swear off Whataburger when you have a bad experience with a drive through employee? Not all MLM consultants are built the same. And at the end of the day, Becky is just doing her best. If you don't want her product, say no thank you and move along. This seems like apples and oranges to me because an MLM structure is designed to screw a whole bunch of people over. So, you know, yes, we're an MLM, but we're not like those MLMs. We're different. Yet, there's still that structure. And I can do deep dives on pretty much any MLM and <laughs> and there's something about the structure I mean it's across the board uh, anytime you have to recruit multi-level marketing there's multi level there's multiple levels in the marketing it's like in the freaking name guys okay at the end of the day Becky is just doing her best if you don't want her product say no thank you and move along um, I do say no thank you and move along, but, you know, I'm guessing you experienced some other things, but, you know, everybody has a different reaction to this when they're being bothered, so. Um, MLMs are constantly labeled as scams. You know what? what's a scam? Unpaid maternity leave. The year you wait to get a 50 cent raise, 725 minimum wage, those are scams. Okay, explain this to me. 725 minimum wage that's still money that you're getting per hour, whereas an MLM, you get nada per hour. You get nothing. Well, you're getting a steady wage. when you, Even with minimum wage, you're getting a steady wage for the work you put in. Now, with MLMs, you're on your phone all the time. You're recruiting all the time, anytime. Like, you're constantly, like, if you're not if you're not constantly working, like, you'll be thinking about the next recruit. It, like, ingrains into your mind that you have to always be thinking about the business. So you're thinking about who is the next person I can contact. What is the next step that I do in this business to grow this business, to recruit, to, to rank up, to get the perks, to get the money, be successful. And that is a scam. Someone opens up a store or gets a new job and everyone congratulates them. Someone signs up under a direct sales company and they're not taken seriously. Get eye rolls and deleted off friends list and have to prove to everyone they aren't suddenly fake or a liar. Honestly, it just baffles me. Direct sales companies truly help so many people, especially stay-at-home moms who are unable to go to a normal 9-to-5. Support each other. Try your friend's product. Share their post. We're all just out here trying to make it. I understand the need to try to make it. That is the vulnerable population that tends to end up in MLMs. A lot of times when somebody is a stay-at-home mom and they get into an MLM, they don't have time for their kids. And they may be at home trying to recruit, but they're often too busy to do the things they need to do with the kids. Or they, I have seen where they turn their kids into an opportunity to exploit their kids' lives in, in order to recruit. Oh boy. Was looking forward to Facebook Neighborhoods page to connect with neighbors. Unsurprisingly, the MLM Huns were quick to the new opportunity. 
and it has a poll on the page. It says, I might be alone in this, but do we really want this neighborhood page to be to just be full of people advertising their MLM schemes? And 27 votes for no, one vote for yes. <laughs> one vote for yes. A lot of times people who are in direct sales cannot seem to post to Marketplace because it supposedly goes against community standards. And go figure that. Against community standards? Nah. Direct sales are all the rage right now. I am in direct sales and I'm currently trying to build more of a clientele. Oh, you mean you're trying to build a downline by referring people into your pyramid scheme? A lot of people have had horrible experiences, but it's because of poorly thought pyramid schemes or illegal schemes. And then this person uh, replies, I'm not going to get into my thoughts on direct sales, but my opinion in that the neighborhood pages should be about things directly relevant to the area. Events, recommendations, suggestions, get-togethers, etc. Not people spamming their businesses to strangers. Thank you. Thank you. There is a time and a place and this is not the place. It's often against group standards. Like there's usually a no spamming, no promotions kind of thing. Like don't put your business out there and stuff like that. And this is to protect the people in the groups because when you go into a group, a support group for something like an illness or something or a neighborhood group, it's really frustrating to see MLM posts where you're trying to recruit people for your clientele. It's just tacky. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't join an MLM in the first place, but if you do join an MLM and you're trying to recruit people, just don't do it in groups. I'm not saying to recruit people, but just it's tacky. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this. Thank you for watching, and I hope you got something out of this. If you're in an MLM, I hope you got some kind of nugget. can't wait to see you in the next video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below what is your big takeaway or a story you connected with or anything like that that you would like to share. And also, if you have any stories, I would love to feature it in another video. So just be sure to send an email my way and let me know and we'll get that underway. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.